Hello and welcome to Asilomar State Beach and Conference Grounds. My name is Aaron Gilmartin and I am a guide with California State Parks. Today I would like to share with you the story of Asilomar's origins. Back in the early 1900s, the Young Women's Christian Association, or YWCA, was looking for a location to build a camp. They had been hosting summer sessions in nearby Capitola, but by 1912 there was a need for a new location. Phoebe Hurst invited the growing camp to use her hacienda in Pleasanton for the 1912 summer sessions. Phoebe Apperson Hurst was the mother of William Randolph Hurst, and at this time she still retained control of the Hurst family fortune. Phoebe used her connections to broker a deal between the YWCA and the land-owning Pacific Improvement Company. The result was 30 acres of land here in Pacific Grove, California, at the edge of the Monterey Peninsula. Architect Julia Morgan was brought on to design and build the campus. Miss Morgan would later gain fame as the builder of Hearst Castle. When the camp opened in the summer of 1913, there was only one permanent building finished, the administration building. This building is open to the public today and is known as the Phoebe Apperson Hearst Social Hall in honor of Mrs. Hearst. The rest of the campus were tent structures. The dining hall was actually a repurposed circus tent and the lodging where the campers stayed were wooden framed and canvas walled tent houses donated by Phoebe Hearst. The campers themselves were typically high school age girls from across the western United States. While here, these young women would engage in outdoor recreation, enjoy the natural features of Asilomar, attend church services, and be encouraged to consider higher education after high school. Before the camp opened in 1913, the YWCA held a contest to name the camp. The winning submission came from Helen Salisbury, an alum of Stanford University. Her submission was a made-up word consisting of two Spanish words, asilo, meaning asylum or refuge, and mar, meaning ocean or sea. So Asilomar is refuge by the sea. It's a very fitting name as many of our visitors today come seeking refuge and to enjoy the natural features of our park. Thanks for watching. For more information, you can go to www.parks.ca.gov and be sure to follow Asilomar State Beach on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe on YouTube.